so good. I love this. Oh, oh the thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> How are you doing? How's your con? It's been good. What about you? I mean, it's roller coaster, I guess. Roller coaster, roller coaster, yeah. So last season we saw so much with both canaries, and they finally came to the same side. Can you tease anything adventurous between those two in the final season? So I don't fully know what happens between them yet, but I know that there's a dynamic with the canaries uh, and a story with the canaries that is really cool and really exciting and really different. When might we see it? Like later? You will start to see it at the very beginning. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're, are we to assume, you know, your time as police has come to an end? Actually, you know, I think because now with Oliver not being there, I think uh, Dinah feels more of a responsibility to the city. So I think she's going to stay strong in her desire to be the, the captain as well as the black canary, yeah. instead of being so torn. Are you going to be training more black canaries in the um, present? Oh, I hope so. I don't know for sure, but that was one of my favorite things that, you know, dinosaur. She was such, she was very much an isolationist at the beginning and out there for herself. Uh, and I just love that she literally developed a network of women. Uh, so I, I hope that we... And even it's just one shot of like just a ton of canaries okay. coming at you. Yes. <laughs> a bunch of canary cries all over oh, the city. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That'd be sick. <laughs> How much do you know about the canaries? Do you know anything Speaking of the end of the show, because you know you came in, you know, two years ago, you know, filling big shoes as a black canary, you know, been, I mean, personally, you pay, you've even paid the way now to, you know, for another woman of color to play black canary on the big screen. So, what is your biggest takeaway of the DC experience, and you know, going forward after this? It's really given me a lot of confidence, and I not only is it an honor, you know, and again, to, you know, to play a character as a, as a woman of color to play a character who is traditionally not um, is extremely empowering. It really does make you feel like you can kind of do anything. Um, so I hope that that energy continues in me, especially as I audition for the next job, because empowerment is uh, something that I think everybody should have some. some I'm still holding off for that Birds of Prey TV show for you guys. Dude, me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be amazing. That yeah. was one of the best episodes to shoot last season. It was so fun. I mean, I still think you guys need to have like a big female cross with all the girls. They're like, call she 40, just do it. Exactly, I know. Yeah, I, you know, it'd be cool if we could have, even if it's obviously not a fully female-centric crossover, but moments that are, moments where their, their power is uh, useful and, and featured. Yeah. Here's a fun, silly question. Uh, yeah. do, do any of you guys get to, uh, after the show ends, get to keep your props or your costumes home with you? Oh, Thank you know, you. Yeah. We've, I've asked, I mean, there's certain situations in which, you know, maybe one or two things, but generally, I, I believe that they keep them, like, like you know, memorialized, like, forever. <laughs> uh, yeah. You gotta take it home. 
I know you can't take it home. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to steal as much as I can. Uh, you know, I'll, I've been bringing backpacks and um, nobody's noticed so far. So. Maybe the badge. The badge. Old shiny is what we call it. And the stick. And the stick. Oh well, I actually that, oh that's something I've already stolen like three sticks. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, because it's, Vancouver, it's Vancouver because anything can anything, happen. Anything, you probably got swept up in the snow, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite moment in the show that you can share with us? It's so hard to pick one. I um, I think the moment when she reveals herself to Oliver uh, in 511, uh, and she says, you know, Actually, my name is Dinah Drake, and she reveals who she is, and then you kind of get that whole, the whole history and the whole legacy of the character just kind of comes alive in that moment that she even just says her name. And it's rare as an actor that you get one line that can say so much, especially if you've only seen the character for one episode. Um, so that was really incredible. Well, I know you, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to ask for spoilers on the crisis, because I know it's impossible, but yeah. it's one of the biggest stories of all time. As an actor, what is, it, what is it like to get to be part of that as, not only as arrows going up, but also setting up the biggest crossover that, that it has ever happened? It's, it's, it's an honor and it's, you know, it's a big responsibility. It's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of stories that need to be told and a lot of stories that need to come to an end and, uh, you know, just find closure. So uh, it's sort of like, I don't know, I look at it as, as like, like building something almost and it's, you know, you, brick by brick by brick. Um, but. It's, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. If you had to script it, what would be your ideal end to the dining room? Wow. Well, somehow she would train her cry back. Uh, even though I do love, very much love the fact that she is accepted that with or without the cry, you know, the cry is not what makes you the canary, it's what's inside of you, and I love that. But selfishly, as an actor as well, I think it would be very cool for her to get that back because uh, she got that from her greatest loss and then to lose that again is a bit of a like you know it's a bit of like a gut punch so um, that and then also to just sort of decide you know she is the black canary even if she does remain the police captain like to really own that and uh, own herself and own her space and and also because she did start off alone to end with her team I think that's really important to end with all of these guys And you were just all tired and all, and like, oh, it's coming to an end. Why? Yeah, I know, I know. It's really, it's surreal that it's coming to an end. Um, but I think it's also given this season meaning, and it's given us, you know, when you know something's ending, you just look at it differently. Just, you know, and, and then when it's gone, you really look at it differently. But we're trying to take in as much as we can and, and just really, like, cherish every moment, including right now, because, you know, it's, uh, when you do something for 23 episodes a year, and it's 10 months, and sometimes 18-hour days, I mean, it's just, uh, sometimes you can forget, like, how incredible and special it is, what you're doing. This is a good reminder. You see, I've seen a lot of actors in the Airverse you know, now jumping into the director's chair, and so, is yeah. that something that you would want to do, you know, I mean, maybe not on Air, but maybe yeah. on another, you know, one of the other shows, maybe, you know, yeah. something else? I never thought so. I was always really intimidated by directing. Um, but one of the incredible things about Arrow is they've made it so accessible to the actors. It's such a rare thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I, at first, was like, no, never. Like, I don't want to run this ship. Like, it is way too big. But um, then when I see my friends doing it and and thriving and, uh, and learning and really... Uh, now it is something I'm considering. But what I, I really do, uh, I write, and, and that's something that I really want to pursue. Spending about that, about the writing. I'm like, she could write episodes for the Totally, totally. And uh, I don't know much about the writing program. I know about the directing program, but I've been asking about it because it's, it's true. I mean, yeah. just, it's a deep dive. It's a deep dive. Yeah, it's a deep dive. Uh, Especially talking about taking the comics. So yes. Taking yeah. on a lot of the details. Right. So much homework. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. And these guys have, have really paved the way. They're, uh, they, they show me sort of a better version of what you could be. Like they all they all push and push. They're acting, they're directing, they're so it's inspiration. What's the first thing you do after they say and that's a wrap on Juliana? Probably gonna um, sob <laughs> for like 
45 to an hour and then, uh, you know, probably drink. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, take a breath and, you know, start writing something new, audition for something new, uh, and just sort of see what else is out there. It's, it's just like a giving over. Yeah. Here's another fun question. Um, as I asked the other cast members too, do you, are you going to keep your regimen, you know, the, the training, the fight for other these, like... Yeah, I know, it's funny, nobody's asked me that. Yeah, I, uh, that's one of the biggest things that Arrow, I think, has changed in my life, is like my, my health, like the way I take care of my health, my physical health, my emotional health, it's really, because you, you have to, it's a lot, it requires a lot of stamina, and um, yeah, I, I feel better now than I did in my 20s, or when I, even when I started the show, so I not only want to continue, but I want to improve it and take it up, take it up a notch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We know that Katie is uh, directing an, uh, an episode soon. How is it? Yes. Is it are you excited to have oh her not God. just a co but as a director now for you? I am so excited. It's the most fun when your friends direct because when it's a new director you've never met up, well, I'm always at least like, you know, you just you don't know. But these guys know the show so well, and you know, our team is doing a great job by having them direct episodes because uh, they have been here the whole time. They understand the characters. They're 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 some of the best directors, and Katie is. She is not only so talented, but she has studied so hard for this, and she's really earned it. So I can't wait. Yeah. How long did you find out that she was doing it, the directing it? She told me last year. She told me. Wow! Yeah. It's been like it's been building it's been up. A big secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she, because she took, you, I mean, they don't just let you direct. You know, there's the there's a two month program. She was shadowing Bam on episodes, uh, I mean, she, as she was acting, she worked her butt off for this, so, yeah. When you went into the season, did you have, like, a bucket list for Dinah, where you're like, guys, can we maybe just do some of this before we're all done? Is there something on your wish that you're like, I really, really need this to happen? The, the one thing I really wanted to happen was the Canary episode. And so you the, got it. And I got it. So, I trust them, you know, I feel like they... They have a great understanding of these characters. They they have a great um, vision for the arc of the entire show, and uh, I just I trust them. I think that's. I would say that's probably one of the like the biggest change your character has from when you first met her to last now. Is her last, she is so trusting of the people around her, and is that trust going to be strengthened or lost? Well, I, to be honest, I don't fully know the answer uh, to that this season, but I, I think it needs to be strengthened because without Oliver, um, she wants to keep the team together. That's her family and that's her home, and, uh, and they need to stick together right now. Thank you, well, thank you so much. Good luck on the final season. <laughs>